I'm just gonna hop on the bus and go and get my hair cut. And so um, that's what the bandana's for. My mask, public mask covering situation. Um, but yeah, this is the last of my lockdown hair. And obviously as hair normally does on the day you're getting a cut, it looks quite nice today. But yeah. back in my closet today i'm going to show you how i got to that design and just give you some info on why i love it and just talk you through it a little bit really so the shirt that i'm wearing is the initial version of this shirt i want things that are easy to throw on as a t-shirt however i don't feel as comfortable or modern or cool in a t-shirt as what i would like uh, i don't think it's not the most flattering item on me so my thinking has been to design some shirts around the idea of something that you really throw on and that the styling is basically done for you in the cut, uh, in the way that it's made. And that just by throwing it on, you'd feel like amazing. And that's kind of what I'm going for. This is a casual shirt that I made last year, September, when I was still doing markets. And I love the shirt. I think I've worn it at least once or twice a week even. I've done fringe seam detailing on the whole of the shirt just because I obviously want to make things that feel luxurious, like quality, that kind of vibe. And then it's got this really oversized, like baggy pleated sleeve, which is definitely what I'm into. I definitely lean into the oversizedness of everything. That's definitely a zone that I really love playing in. So it's got this cool sort of uh, like tuxedo shirt detailing as well on the front and all the details really are minimal like it's almost like I feel silly talking about it but this is the whole point is I want to bring you guys on the whole journey with me of why I'm making things and how I come to design them so that's why I'm talking you through these these really little sort of seemingly insignificant details then initially I've been really taken with like wrist ties on things and I bought a few shirts that had wrist ties and really wanted to do something like that. And the idea with making these ones was that you could tie it up and then have some sort of like an adjustable shirt. So and the idea of it being seasonless would mean you could just like zhuzh up the sleeve, I'm trying to say it in the, the shot. So zhuzh up the sleeve and then you've got it and it looks like a really cool like short sleeve shirt. The issue with this is while that's really cool and all, I in all my time of having this shirt have never actually worn it like that. So I don't know. <laughs> um, it's just one of those things that I came up with and realized I don't think it's design flaw, I think it's really cool, but I think that's when people find things becoming stale in their wardrobes, because they look at it and they're like, well, I don't really like doing the ties on that, so I'm not going to wear that thing all the time, or multiple times, and then it ends up just lying around. So you can also just tie it sort of long like that, and have it long, but yeah, I don't know, I just, um, I find myself not wearing it like this 
as much as I think it looks cool, it definitely makes me question wanting to wear the shirt. So actually what's been happening is I've been wearing it full ties undone like this and I really love this. I did a lot of pictures um, on my Instagram earrings page with like using this um, and I really loved it. Like I felt super creative in it. And so literally I've been going, like I've been doing my shopping. I've been just like hanging out with my ties hanging out and I really like it like that. Obviously I feel like as a soul, like people wanting to invest in a piece like this, this is like a no-go zone. I definitely know that everyone is not going to be into this. If I'm wearing this during the day, I don't like to change. Like I don't like to change for, oh, I've gone out and then I've come back and then um, it's time to cook dinner. So put on your comfies. I like my clothes to be comfortable so that I feel chic throughout the day, even if I'm cooking. This is not conducive to cooking, obviously. So I get around the ties hanging about by literally just like scrunching and rolling it up. And then I realized I've actually been wearing it a lot like that too. And that, that the volume in the sleeve ends up giving you like such a nice like casual vibe. So the towels are still hanging out, but they're not really interfering with anything that you're doing. And they're not going to get in the food if you're cooking. So yeah, I also did a little belt with this. So I done uh, buttonholes on the side. And the idea was that you could, obviously you could wear the belt over the whole shirt, but I like the idea of being able to thread it through and maybe just like belt one half and uh, then you create like a really nice shape. So threading the belt through and then bringing it to the front, let's just do a quick half there. So there you belted, uh, and then you've the back is nice and easy and like floaty up back. So you're still like super cool and casual, but then in the front it's a little bit more like nipped in at the waist. But I feel like the ties with the belt this is a bit much for me, and it's not really in a cool minimal zone, which is the zone that I really like to be in. And just style wise, I just feel. I like sort of more masculine or like boyish looks and like shapeless things. So I don't think, I think I like the first time I ever wore this shirt after making it, I wore the belt. After that, I have never ever wanted to touch it. So yeah, just not gonna, <laughs> not gonna go there anymore. Like I tried it and it really just ended up being a bit useless for me like I guess I even thought I was like well some people might like that and I do know that some people would like to cinch their waist um, and then I thought of things that you could do with the belt in other ways but then again like I feel like it's getting to like a gimmicky yeah just like an unnecessary place like do we need all this I don't, I don't know I don't think so so that was your view of the original shirt that I've been wearing I've tested I've tried and now I have tweaked and I've also made it in a different fabric so the next one's going to be in linen and I'm going to stop talking about it and pop that one on just before I take this thing off one other little sort of design thing that I ended up not really liking so I did this asymmetrical I guess I shouldn't be wearing white shorts the light is a bit strange the asymmetrical thing was like this added detail that I thought would make it look original actually it just it doesn't really make sense I think if I had something else asymmetrical on the shirt or I was really diving into that and going for like a totally different design but I'm really actually designing something that's really easy and really classic and I just think it feels out of place so while initially I mean it's not hideous and oh disclaimer like I'm totally gonna be wearing this shirt still and I still love it and the fabric and everything is amazing I'm just um I'm really working hard to really refine things that are really, really like next level. I don't need to tweak it anymore. I think it's perfect and 100%. So, yeah. Okay, back in the final version. This one is in white linen. I do have some 
skepticism about that feeling of like feeling disheveled and like very creased and like very lived in but I also think that that's kind of the vibe I'm going for anyway and if you've got a really chic pair of jeans on or you like throwing a blazer over the top or something you can really elevate linen and sort of play with textures so uh, it's a fabric that I'm really excited to be uh, working with uh, it also gives such nice structure so it's like heavy but it's got it's heavy and light and voluminous I don't know maybe I'm not describing this properly but um, you'll know if you're like a fan of linen it just I feel like it gives the shirt like a lot of like really really cool structure so the same thing it's the exact same design like I haven't changed it uh, through the front at all except obviously the hemline you're getting a lot more structure through the sleeve it doesn't sort of collapse like the other fabric which I love so I really love how it accentuates the curve that is just for me that is everything again I know this isn't going to be to everyone's taste the general oversizedness of everything but it's really sort of the lane that I'm trying to to play in the pleating just looks a little bit different like I really love the sheerness of the linen and how it accentuates like the French seaming I've got these little elbow darts there and at the back they don't really do too much for the shape but I like those added details it just feels a little bit more elevated and then again I have made the hemline really even so yeah side note uh, I'm gonna I also did these shorts which I'm not going to be part of the brand, but I was just desperate for a, a, a pair for myself. So uh, probably shouldn't be doing white on white, but it's a look that I really love. That's why I'm showing it to you. But I just think the light is maybe not amazing for this. But yeah, moving on to the sleeve. I love the wide sleeve and I love like when a shirt hangs long like that. I think it just makes me feel really effortlessly casual and cool. So that's why the length is like super long and it also gives you a lot of room to play when you want to like zhuzh and sort of play with the proportion, lift the sleeve up or whatever. So I, yeah, just roll this exactly like I did the other one and it's like a perfect width that it will sort of just stay above your elbow uh, and give you that like lovely little like puff sleeve vibe and if it falls down it'll just fall a little bit of the way but sort of like still maintain its structure so if you want to do like just a short amount of your wrist showing I think it looks really great like that and then obviously I also love it it's like really pushed up it's really judging that up and then yeah I think that like rounded but it's just when it's like pushed up to a half sleeve looks really really amazing so I also like the back pleat. So it's got that stitched down very wide pleat at the back, which I think is really cool. And I'm gonna move out the way. The length for me obviously is perfect. Again, doing going forward with like the made to order brand, people could stipulate if they were shorter or taller and I could reduce like lengthen or shorten the hemline as needed. Another feature on the shirt is the point at which I have sort of stitched it up. So the idea being that it's a throw-on shirt, it is, this one's not stitched down closed all the way. I've done like a little uh, bar tacks, which I think is like, it's hard to see on the camera, but I think it's like a cool little, little feature. And the length that I've done is sort of that exact right length that if you wanna do the half tuck vibe, or like here, yeah, if you wanted to go braless, and not worry about like too much showing like it's slightly risky but really not it's like in a definite safe zone so you literally you never have to worry you're throwing it on it's in the right place how many buttons do I do up how many don't I I've thought about it for you I'm there the slit on the side also is cut at the right height that it's going to give you just the right amount of blues on if you do want to tuck it in obviously I'm aware that people tuck things in sometimes I'm totally okay with judging your outfits in that way so if you did a half tuck it's sort of really easy it just happens to fall in the right way it doesn't give you too much to worry about or sometimes you can fiddle too much it's just like 
flip in the side happy days and then the same thing with the other one and then because of where the slits are again it just gives you a really easy fold gives you a perfect amount of like casual cool little blues on going in the back there and then yeah in the front like it just it just works um so i feel really chuffed with that that i've made it like a really easy vibe to style to tuck in or whatever so yeah. shorts on I wanted to take you through some styling and tell you about some uniforms that I've sort of created for myself so since I made the shorts I made two pairs a black pair and a white pair and these kind of rules are kind of they're more about the top that I'm wearing that I kind of have set up for myself and it's not that I will only ever stick to these it's that thing of it's like I don't want the disappointment of being in a rush or thinking, oh, it's time to get dressed and then putting something on and going, oh my gosh, I don't know why this isn't working or something feels off. It's like I've realized now why certain things feel off for me and just not to bother playing around in those zones, just like stick to these certain guidelines. And then it's almost a way of just for me personally creating that perfect wardrobe that. I've got in my mind these things in place that I know if I'm taking a jumper and a shirt that's going to work together or if I'm taking this and this that's going to work together I'm far short of wearing like black t-shirts and slacks or like a Steve Jobs uniform turtleneck vibe uh, it's my version of making things really sort of easy and knowing my fail safe sort of quick fix ways to feel amazing so if I'm wearing shirts or any sort of collared shirt. So obviously I've got the one that I've designed now. But if I'm wearing a collared shirt, I would definitely, my layering would be a jumper. So I don't like the fussiness of worrying what to do with the collar with a blazer. Especially if I'm wearing shorts in the UK summer. Like if the evening's a bit cooler, you need an extra layer if your legs are out. And this is really perfect. So that's the vibe there. And then also the other thing is that a shirt like this to me feels very soft and feminine whereas I'd say that a t-shirt is a little bit more boyish so because I'm feeling like soft and sort of yeah I don't know how else to describe it just I guess softer I feel like I can go with a harder shoe so when I'm wearing a shirt or something oversized with a little bit more movement I definitely then harden up the shoe so I wear something like a Velcro sandal, like these Tevas, or a big chunky Birkenstock because I feel like the shirt or the movement and the shapes are giving me the femininity that I need. These fine, fine details that when you get it right are just so, so good if that's the sort of style that you like. If you like that sort of minimal, oversized, just sort of general, more masculine uh, style the other side to my little shorts styling story is if I'm going to wear a t-shirt with them I feel like it's too pared down or laid back I don't feel as cool as I like to feel when I'm just wearing like a t-shirt and shorts so then I definitely layer with a blazer and these shorts are linen so the exact same style as the other ones they just fall a little bit differently to the the cotton. I don't feel like this blazer is too dressed up because the blazer itself is linen too. So I feel like the whole thing kind of works and sort of toes the line along that fine line of balance between being super casual and easy for any sort of day out and just making me feel as chic as I need to feel. And I haven't changed any of my accessories or jewelry across the thing. I'm sort of wearing something that's every day. I wear the exact same watch. I always wear some version of gold hoops and um, a selection of bracelets that I have accumulated over time from family and friends. So yeah, that shine and that sort of metallic, I think really helps with a look like this where it's all black and then uh, the navy. Also, that's a good trick too. It's like just break up um an all black look with a layer of navy 
So it's essentially giving you the same exact vibe as All Black, but it's not as harsh. It just sort of adds an element of sort of relaxedness, as in like, did you mean to pair navy with the All Black look? Obviously you did, because you care a lot about fashion and style, but some people could see it as a little bit careless, and when people start thinking that way about your look, I think that's when you've hit it on the money. I've also just chucked on a pair of more feminine shoes. So with the blazer, the t-shirt, the shorts, it is very simple, very minimal, um, but also harsh. So it's with the blazer is leaning towards more masculine side. So then I'm wearing a very barely there, very feminine sort of thong leather sandal. And then also the color of it is like this neutral cream, which also just feels like lifts the whole thing. I think I'm figuring out that talking about style, I've d like my favorite thing is to dress up and create looks and create outfits. But I'm definitely seeing that when I'm filming things and talking about things that I love to wear, I waffle on and I'm not sure whether it comes across. So it's such early days for me, but literally if you are understanding this and you're getting it, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, obviously I'll keep practicing and things will get a little bit better, but I'd love to hear from you if you think that this was in any way, shape or form informative. And if you are like me in a similar style zone, like if, this is the kind of thing that you like and are achieving with your own outfits like that'd be really really rad and i totally appreciate it